हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एमबीए करो एमएनसीडी 2024 इज जस्ट वन मंथ अवे इट इज गोइंग टू बी हेल्ड ऑन नाइन्थ एंड टेंथ ऑफ मार्च एंड टुडे इज नाइन्थ ऑफ फेब्रुवरी सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वन मंथ स्ट्रेटेजी टू बूस्ट योर स्कोर इन सीईटी एंड व्हाट शुड बी योर स्टडी प्लान फॉर द नेक्स्ट मंथ सो दैट यू कैन मैक्सिमाइज योर स्कोर इन दिस एग्जाम so so far you must have been preparing for the examination but the last month tips a lot of students keep asking that my score is stuck at this level right how to go beyond it so what are the things that will help you boost your score in the last one month if you are new to the channel please do subscribe to the channel for wonderful content on mba entrance exams we shall also be having certain uh, sessions revision sessions for mnct in the coming days so what should be the preparation strategy for the last one month okay i'm sure the serious aspirants must have already worked on it for the past few months and in this last month it is about to scale your score so first thing is brush up the basics weekly okay basics it is very important to cover because like sometimes we forget very basic things ठीक है चाहे वो क्वांट हो या इंग्लिश हो वी फॉरगेट ग्रामर और रीजनिंग में कोई कॉन्सेप्ट हो सकता है यू माइट फॉरगेट सो रिविजन इज अ मस्ट एंड यू हैव टू रिवाइज थिंग्स ऑन अ रेगुलर बेसिस नाउ इट इज टाइम टू फोकस ऑन स्ट्रॉन्ग एरियाज सी इफ यू टॉक अबाउट दिस एग्जामिनेशन यू हैव वन फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन वन फिफ्टी मिनट्स एंड यू हैव टू हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन नाउ लाइक इट इज very unlikely the paper tends are to be uh, on a slightly lengthy side or even moderate length it becomes very difficult to complete the paper so it is all about playing with your strengths if there are fewer questions let us say that 150 minutes mein 60 questions hote then you obviously you should know each and everything and complete the paper but there are 200 questions in 150 minutes so that means you require speed and the speed you can maintain is in your strong areas let us say i'm good in verbal ability okay so i'll be able to attempt verbal questions more with better accuracy than in quant similarly if some person is good with quant maybe they may not have accuracy in verbal so focus on strong areas so that you can maximize your score because if you work on weak areas you will improve but that improvement will be less but if you work on strong areas your improvement will be more so let's take very simple example of let us say cricket okay virat kohli can do bowling also but his strong area is batting if he puts hard work on batting he can become even a better batsman right i mean that's what he does and but if he puts effort on bowling okay his bowling may improve but not that much so it is very important to focus on strong points and you should take 10 to 15 mock tests at least because they will give you a strategy okay you can experiment in these mocks experiment kaisa karna hai pehle main aapne quant pehle kar li fir verbal kar li fir uske baad lr kar li fir abstract kar li second mein aapne kaha ki quant mein slow chal raha let's start with verbal then lr okay and uh, वर्बल के बाद रीजनिंग फिर एब्सट्रैक्ट फिर लास्ट में पॉइंट की ओके सो यू कैन एक्सपेरिमेंट इन दिस मॉक टेस्ट सी व्हाट वर्क्स बेस्ट फॉर यू ओके टाइम एलोकेशन डिफरेंट कर लो लेट्स से एक में आपने क्वांट में 30 मिनट्स दिए नेक्स्ट में आपने क्वांट में 40 मिनट्स दिए इसमें वर्बल 20 मिनट्स में की इसमें 25 मिनट्स दिए ओके यू गिव 60 मिनट्स टू रीजनिंग यू गिव 45 मिनट्स टू रीजनिंग ओके सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन प्ले अराउंड इन डिफरेंट मॉक्स एंड सी दैट व्हाट स्ट्रेटजी वर्क्स बेस्ट फॉर यू so if you take at least 10 to 15 marks okay that will help you develop a strategy exam mein kya cheez best kaam karegi okay which section is the best that you can start with what kind of questions you should attempt what kind of questions you should leave this thing will help you build that And then you should practice abstract reasoning because it is something that is different to this exam right which is not asked in other exams so you must practice these questions and if you want to practice questions on it right so if you search for abstract reasoning aapko bahut zyada nahi milta agar main aapko kahun ki google mein search karo non verbal reasoning 
ठीक है तो आपको बहुत सारी साइट मिल जाएगी नॉट ओनली इंडियन साइट बट यू कैन गेट फॉरन साइट ऑल्सो ओके सो यू कैन सर्च फॉर नॉन रीजनिंग नॉन वर्बल रीजनिंग टेस्ट डाल के गूगल कर लो ठीक है या पी डी एफ वर्ड करके गूगल कर लो सो यूल गेट अ लॉट ऑफ रिसोर्सेज फॉर फ्री देर आर लाइक नॉट ओनली इंडियन एग्जाम देर आर फॉरन एग्जाम ऑल्सो दैट टेस्ट नॉन वर्बल रीजनिंग सो यू कैन सर्च नॉन वर्बल रीजनिंग पी डी एफ यू कैन गेट लॉट ऑफ पी डी एफ ऑन इट ओके सो एबसाइड रीजनिंग सर्च करो यू मे नॉट गेट टू मच कॉन्टेंट बट इफ यू सर्च नॉन वर्बल रीजनिंग और यू कैन ऑल्सो सर्च विजुअल रीजनिंग you will get a lot of stuff on internet you can use that as a practice material okay that too for free then in the lr section try to practice analytical puzzles analytical puzzles basically means jo aapke arrangement hota hai okay. arrangement linear circular floor etc those sort of puzzles for this also you have a lot of resources right search for bank uh, bank uh, exam puzzles you will get a lot of these puzzles because these are the kind of puzzles that they test in cet and the thing is these are group questions if you solve a puzzle there will be five or six questions associated with it secondly you will get five to six puzzles if you are able to solve those puzzles you will be able to score marks in bulk ओके सो दिस इज वन गुड पोर्शन ऑफ द पेपर आप इसको कंप्लीटली स्किप नहीं कर सकते आर प्रैक्टिस द मोर यू प्रैक्टिस द फास्टर यू गेट एट सॉल्विंग दीज क्वेश्चन ओके सो आउट ऑफ सेवेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन आई वुड से दैट एटलीस्ट देर वुड बी फाइव टू सिक्स पजल्स दैट कुड बी इवन मोर लाइक सिक्स सिक्स सेवन पजल्स भी हो सकती है सो इफ यू हैव प्रैक्टिस दैट यू कैन मैक्सिमाइज योर अटेम्प्ट इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द पेपर then in quant if i talk about there are certain key areas one is data interpretation again group question individual aapko char panch question padhne padenge usme time lagega data interpretation aapne ek chart dekha you know that this is the data you can answer questions on it if the questions are short if the questions are very lengthy per question then obviously uh, not a better choice apart from that you can also practice number series you should i mean number series approximation simplification so these are some topics that one must practice for mhct because these are less time taking isme aapko bahut kam time lagega number series approximation simplification or quadratic equation these topics hardly take any time agar aap inki baat karo iske aapke jo 15 questions hai aaram se aapke 8 to 10 minutes mein ho sakte hain theek hai and di sets also because like these are based on percentages ratios some basic calculation is needed and graph reading is needed if you look at other topics right of course you have to practice all things but in other topics you have to use concept right uh, and then solve it so they may take more time compared to these so these are some key areas wherein you can practice more and hence you can score more in the paper then when we talk about the vrc section the scoring part is grammar and vocab okay build grammar and vocab because rc bahut time consuming ho jayega no doubt you are a good reader that is fine but strategically that is not a good way to attempt you okay? can do not attempt rcs because bahut zyada time lagta it's a, it's a not a good strategy of course if you have time left then you can go ahead and attempt rcs but focus on grammar and vocabulary grammar and vocabulary aapke direct vocab based questions aa sakte hain synonym antonym aa sakte hain okay then you might get questions on idioms phrases the you in grammar you might have error detection there could be fill in the blanks fill in the blanks are part of like sometimes it is vocab based sometimes it is grammar based so synonym antonym based questions idioms error spotting okay or sentence correction or all the sort of miscellaneous questions that you get which are individual questions and less time taking see if you get these kind of questions you know or you do not know error detection less time to read and solve if you know grammar well you can solve it fill in the blanks if you know the basic uh, basically the grammar behind it or uh, the vocabulary behind it you will be able to attempt those questions so working on these is a better 
रिजल्ट गिविंग स्ट्रैटेजी ठीक है अगर ग्रामर वो कैमलरी अच्छी कर लोगे प्रैक्टिस करोगे डेली और डेली बेसिस दैट विल हेल्प यू प्रिपेयर वेल आरसी ठीक है इट्स गुड टू प्रैक्टिस बट स्ट्रैटेजी के लिए बैड चॉइस आप एक आरसी अटेम्प्ट करते हो लेटर से सिक्स क्वेश्चन का आरसी आता है ठीक है सो लेट से यू हैव टू रीड फोर हंड्रेड वर्ड्स पहले आपको फोर हंड्रेड वर्ड्स पढ़ने पड़ेंगे ओके देन यू हैव टू अटेम्प्ट सिक्स क्वेश्चन सो इसकी जगह आप सिक्स क्वेश्चन ये वाले कर लोगे यू कैन इवन This is almost equal to 10 plus verbal questions. जितने टाइम में आप सिक्स क्वेश्चन करोगे और एक आरसी पढ़ोगे आप टेन टेन या फिफ्टीन भी कर सकते हो सो ऑलवेज अ बेटर गेम इज टू सॉल्व वर्बल एबिलिटी क्वेश्चन ओके नो मैटर यू आर गुड इन वर्बल एबिलिटी और बैड एट इट द थिंग इज गो विद वर्बल एबिलिटी फर्स्ट आर सी इफ टाइम परमिट देन गो हेड विद इट सो इट्स अ गुड स्ट्रैटेजी इन द पी आर सी सेक्शन MBA Karo has launched one grammar practice course, okay, which is which will help you not only for MNCT but if you are also targeting SR, CC, GBO, CVT, CMAT, whichever exam you are writing. Since all these uh, exams test you on grammar and vocab, we have launched this practice course. In this, you have uh, we are providing two e-books. One is 160 plus grammar rules, which a lot of students had already purchased previously. Then there is a book on phrasal verbs, right? so uh, come over come across okay so phrasal verbs mein log confusion rehte hai so idioms and phrases that is covered topic wise right word by word like what are the uh, the phrases with let's say go phrases based on colors okay so all those sort of things are covered in this and then we have topic wise grammar test so 14 topics of grammar let's say prepositions okay nouns that way we have classified those tests and there are 30 mixed test in that of 25 questions each so 20 questions each in this and 25 questions in this we have grammar plus vocab like some synonym antonym some grammar rule based etc fill in the blanks so it's a mixed bag of questions like you have in your uh, exams where you get mixed varieties of questions these are included in it so all in all we have 100 plus 1000 plus practice questions in this course and the price is just 500 so in order to enroll you can check the link given in the description of this video now uh, you must be wondering that how much time you should spend on uh, on practicing these questions right so if we talk about uh, the the time this is a minimum daily dose right maximum there is no limit agar aap kam se kam itna time to spend karna hai so that you are well versed with all sections now why i focus why i say that you must focus on all sections because you do not know which section might turn out to be easy to practice har cheez ki karni hai focus more on strong areas let us say aapki quant achhi hai to aap quant di ko extra time de sakte ho theek hai agar aapki verbal achhi hai give more time to verbal ability if your reasoning is good you can spend more time on reasoning but minimum you should give some time to each of the three sections four sections in fact so reading comprehension you can solve two to three sets on a daily basis right which you can give 15 to 20 minutes sources are a lot of things like you can go through some past papers of different exams okay you can also refer to as i said that banking material बैंकिंग एग्जाम का काफी मटेरियल मिल जाएगा आपको बैंकिंग एग्जाम्स के आपके क्वेश्चंस सर्च कर सकते हो राइट यू विल गेट अ लॉट ऑफ मटेरियल ऑन दैट ग्रामर क्वेश्चंस लाइक एटलीस्ट फिफ्टीन टू क्वेश्चंस ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चंस पर डे दैट विल हेल्प यू बिल्ड योर ग्रामर स्किल्स नए रूल्स पता चलते हैं एरर स्पॉटिंग आपने किया गलत आंसर हुआ यू नो दैट वॉट आर द रूल दैट यू नीड टू बी अप्लाइड हेयर पजल्स डू एटलीस्ट फाइव फोर टू फाइव सेट्स ओके एंड ट्राई टू इंक्रीज स्पीड इन दैट because it is all about speed the faster you solve and the more practice you do you will become faster at solving and save time on it then miscellaneous reasoning miscellaneous ki baat hai jaise blood relations right coding directions syllogisms etc as a mix bag of questions also you must practice do at least 10 questions now as i said that it is minimum you can do 20 you can do 30 I told you how to figure out questions, how to get questions from it. Right? Even if you are not enrolled in any mock test or something, you can just Google search non-verbal reasoning or visual reasoning. You will get a lot of questions on it. Data interpretation at least two to three sets per day, and these are minimum, right? If you touch all the sections, at least touch all the sections. It should not be like one day you are only reading. 
study all sections daily this is the minimum i'm saying that even if you do not spend much time on a particular section this is the minimum you should do you can also do 8 to 10 also if you want to improve your di level okay quant one problems i mentioned 15 you can make it 30 40 50 okay it's it's up to you right How, the more you practice the faster you become and this uh, the better you can perform in the examination now i'll also discuss that what should be the ideal time distribution although this is there is no perfect strategy for it okay we i'll create a video on this ki section wise kitna time dena chahiye so generally logical reasoning if you talk about there are 75 questions right this is the the actual distribution which might vary kabhi ho sakta hai isme 20 hi question ho right isme 50 se 60 ho sakte hain aur 40 bhi ho sakte hain similarly verbal may be 40 might be 50 might be 55 aise vary kar sakta hai so that is the number that they propose the numbers might vary so accordingly you can decide on it and in the mock test you will generally get this pattern so how to distribute time to these sections reasoning ideally give 55 to 60 minutes okay abstract reasoning 15 to 20 minutes not more than that do not give more than 20 minutes to abstract reasoning because that is sufficient to attempt the section and if you feel that the questions are heavy let's say paach che saat question gane baal thak rahe ho so installment mein karo like for solve five questions of abstract reasoning because once you start concentrating on abstract reasoning you seem to get tired faster right this is i have experienced and maybe you might also experience ki jab abstract reasoning jyada karne lagte ho thakan hoti hai okay quantitative aptitude try to wrap up in 40 minutes 40 to 45 depending on your speed not necessary that you attempt 50 questions right you can attempt 30 questions you can attempt 35 questions also but try to reduce the time to 40 minutes verbal like if you do verbal more and rc less maybe 25 minutes mein aap mostly cut, attempt kar sakte ho agar rc bhi attempt karo so try to limit it to 30 minutes okay now this may vary let's say aapki quant achhi hai so you can extend it to 45 minutes quant kharab hai 35 minutes verbal ka time bada do 30 to 35 minutes quant bahut achhi hai maybe you do 50 and 20 here that is also possible aapne rc nahi ki aur sirf only we attempt ki par aapne quant mein jyada time laga diya so you have a flexibility to allot time right this is assuming that a person is perfect in all four sections har section mein equally good hai to isliye i have given this time now this can depend from person to person but reasoning you will have to give a significant amount of time if the number of questions is high if the number of questions in quant is high maybe you will have to give 50 minutes okay if you feel that verbal ability is more doable take less time to attempt it and then give more time to quant and other sections okay so this is how you must attempt it and keep five minutes for marking unattempted questions the reason is there is no negative marking in cet every candidate should know it ki sare question attempt karke aana hai theek hai there is no good attempt good attempt is 200 if you are not attempting 200 questions that means that's a foolish attempt okay so try to attempt all the questions in time so your attempt should be complete 200 genuine could be depending on you like if you are doing genuine 150 160 plus then it's a great attempt okay so this is how you must distribute your time which is which can vary from person to person in case you are preparing for CET and uh, wish to enroll in a course which we started some time back, although we have covered uh, almost a good portion of the syllabus, you can watch the recorded classes and attend the upcoming live classes. You may enroll in our course which caters to CET, CMAT, CUET 2024. So it has uh, 150 plus hours of live classes, recorded concept videos practice sheets that is good thing we give right for every topic we provide practice sheet jaise maan lo aaj humne percentage kiya you will be given practice sheet okay if we did uh, profit loss practice sheet data table di sets bar graph practice sheet okay so every session has a practice sheet that helps you revise concepts and there is a doubt resolution group so in case you find any doubts you are free to ask we are there to assist you and it has exam specific topics like abstract reasoning for CET. Since a uh, lot of you would be preparing for CMAT and CVT also, 
so we will be covering these topics as well under this course okay so the link of the course is given in the description of this video so if you wish to enroll in it you may enroll it live classes if you have missed the recordings are available and in case you wish to wrap up things in one month so it is a good thing right you can watch the classes the recordings when the classes are not happening go through them and uh, when the live classes happen you can attend the classes live so this was about uh, the CET strategy for the last one month. I'll be coming up with some revision sessions on MHCT. In the last one month, as I said, focus on your strength. Know the topics which are easily doable. Try to attempt more questions on them and try to experiment in mock test so that you know the right strategy for you. Everyone will have a different strategy. I might be doing more of quant, less of urban. Some person might be doing maximum in reasoning. Some person might do uh, more in verbal, less in quant and reasoning. So depending on your strength, formulate a strategy and try experimenting in different mocks so that you understand that what works best for you and how you can maximize your score in the examination. I wish you all the best for the exam.